Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and I am still enjoying this Carbach. Um, don't worry, it's it's in the evening, uh, it's in the p.m., and I'm filming this right after the video that came before it, like I promised, because I am going to be revealing to you what my fourth Victorinox, Victorinox knife actually is. And um, I'll tell you the development about it first, okay? So I had fallen in love with the pliers on my um, on my handyman, and I I have not been able to go back unless I don't really need those pliers during the day. But I've found that I'm able to peel back certain metals. Um, I have been able to use it in the kitchen um, to pull the, the rack out of the oven. I have been able to use those pliers in ways that I have um, almost found it almost um, impossible to have in my daily life. While at the same time, I had also found myself not using the corkscrew. Now, if you remember, I had always said that I needed a corkscrew on my Swiss Army knife. I do enjoy a bottle of wine. And to be honest, I haven't had a bottle of wine in almost a month. I mean, yeah, I'm chasing after an 11 month old all over the house. So that's probably a reason why I just don't have the energy to sit there and drink a, a bottle of wine and, and just relax a little bit. But to be honest, it's I, I haven't had a bottle of wine in a while and um i haven't been entertaining as much at the house because of the baby and and because of the time we're going through right now so excuse me a um a bottle opener or corkscrew i should say is not as important as i thought it was on a victorinox knife so the pliers were important corkscrew not so important but i also needed the scissors okay the scissors on a victorinox knife especially the 91 millimeter are fantastic i don't think there is such a thing as a better set of scissors on a multi-tool than the victorinox scissors so my adventure began and i thought to myself okay look there's not very many knives that have the pliers and the scissors so i looked immediately to the swiss champ and I said to myself, hell no, um, that thing is just too big. There are too many layers and I'm never gonna use a fish scaler. I'm never gonna use a fish scaler. So I, I looked at um, a, a Ranger, you know, um, it doesn't have the pliers, but it has a few things that I do like on it. And I thought, okay, you know, the Phillips head screwdriver would probably work. Um, probably work, you know, I, I have found some use in the house for a dedicated Phillips head screwdriver. And then I remembered, okay, there's such a thing as the Tinker. Um, the, the Tinker is basically a Spartan with out the corkscrew. And yeah, it doesn't have the scissors, it doesn't have the pliers, but you know what, I remembered that they have a super Tinker, which does have the scissors. And the Super Tinker is basically a, I think it's a hiker, not a hiker. It's basically, yeah, I think it's basically a, um, uh, not a trekker. <laughs> Jeez. They, I think it's basically a hiker without the saw, but with the scissors, I think. Um, and so then I thought, okay, there's one up from that. And that is the Deluxe Tinker. So I present to you the Victorinox Deluxe Tinker. It has your Phillips head screwdriver. And this one is fresh out of the box. I literally got it today. So there are no real marred up marks on it, but you have a Phillips head. Now the really nice thing about the Phillips versus the corkscrew is when you use the plus scales for that pin, which uh, I haven't found a need for it yet. Uh, I can see how it could be useful, but I haven't needed it. But for a flat pin, you have a nice flat surface over here. 
and that will keep it from falling out. Um, with the corkscrew, I've, I've had the pin come out. It's been bent. It's been bent when I pull this back. So having this flat surface back here keeps that pin in place. That's really nice. You also have your parcel hook, okay? So the parcel hook is really nice, very useful. I've used it quite a bit on all my other knives. And then you have the reamer, okay? But on the Deluxe Tinker, you have the addition of the pliers. And this is actually the slimmest knife other than, I think it was, it wasn't the, um, the apprentice. I think it was either the electrician or, um, the tech I, it, oh yes yes i think it was the technician had the pliers and it was at that time the slimmest package you could get with the pliers but they have discontinued the technician so right now as far as i know the deluxe tinker is the slimmest profiled which is a four four layer knife it is the slimmest profiled knife you can get with the pliers now you're probably wondering how does this fare compared to the other ones so let me get the other ones here i know that i just had them out for the last video but i'm just going to compare the 91 millimeters that i have and so let me close this up so with with the pliers you also have your standard fare of main blade you have your pen blade okay you have your bottle opener wire stripper larger screwdriver head then you have your can opener can opener smaller screwdriver head and then you have your scissors okay so that is the deluxe tinker but how does it compare to a huntsman now the huntsman has a saw and a corkscrew in place of the other tools there on the Deluxe Tinker. I love having a saw on my knife, but I rarely use it. I think I've used this saw around the house and in the garden, maybe a total of 20 times. And that's in a period of like four or five months. So, I mean, I don't think I use it daily, so I could give that away, but this here is a four layer knife okay and what i mean by four layer is one two three four okay this here on the deluxe tinker is also a four layer knife one two three four okay but because of those pliers we are substantially thicker on the thickness there or on the width I, I should say of the knife so it's it's not it's not ridiculous but it's almost like you have a fifth layer on this deluxe tinker versus the huntsman now how does it compare to my handyman well the handyman is one two three four five six layers and as you can see it is substantially substantially thinner than that i carry this more than any of my victoria knox knives and i have found use for the file in more than one way but it's it, it is a cumbersome package it's not much more heavier than a leatherman rev or or any other kind of leatherman really um but it has a few tools that i just don't need every day and i'm not I'm not opening a bottle of wine all the time. And that was one thing I've noticed. And let me just lay these down this way so you guys can get an idea. And so this is the Deluxe Tinker, Huntsman, and then Handyman. And you can definitely see that, yes, there, there is a, a definite change in size there. But it's not too much uh, of a difference compared to the Huntsman. So I'll put those two away. And um, so for me, I found that I was needing a Phillips head with the ability to put some power behind it. Now, I am not going to use this as a dedicated, um, a dedicated Phillips screwdriver. Trust me, 
All Victorinox is using as the liners is aluminum, okay? They are not using stainless steel. I really wish they would move over to stainless steel, but they're using aluminum. Um, and it's probably because of its rust resistancy. Um, but the, the aluminum will not hold up to this abuse if you are really wrenching on it, okay? It's not going to make it out of that alive. And yes, Victorinox has a lifetime warranty, but you have to send this thing to Switzerland to get it fixed. And just imagine how long that's gonna take. Um, I, for me personally, what I would do is I'd send it in for repair and just buy another one, use that until that other one comes back, and then you've got two just in case if one um, hits the bucket. But I am so happy with this, this thing because I've used these pliers. Now, I do not use these to tighten bolts, okay? That's not really what these are made for. I mean, you can you can do it. You know, you can use it as a wrench, but in the um, Delamont series, Victorinox had another knife that was like, I think it was the S52. And I was looking at that because there's an 84 millimeter, it's slimmer, uh, a shorter. It has the pliers. It, it had everything I would want, okay? But I had one problem with it. And so it had scissors, pliers, it had a saw. It also had can opener, bottle opener, okay? Had a nail file, which this doesn't have. Had a, um, a large blade, had the, um, the corkscrew and it had the reamer didn't have the the uh hook and i may have missed maybe one or maybe one um of those but the problem that i had with it was that it was 84 millimeters now i have owned 84 millimeter victorinox knives in the past and they do not really give me the grip that i want out of my victorinox knife so for me, I felt that was going to sacrifice grip area for a smaller package, yet it would be a package that would be um, more compact, it'd have everything I'd want, but it was also almost $60. This knife I bought for $39 on eBay, and it's, I think that's a better value personally. So I have, back to the hook, that's why I have, not the hook, the pliers, but that's why I have it out. I've used this to lift um, hot pans, uh, not pans, but hot um, wire pan lids off of the stove. Um, sometimes you just don't have a mitten to do that and I just pull this out and pull it off, check you know, a soup that I'm cooking or whatever. Um, I pulled out the rack from my oven with this. Okay, um, it's a wonderful wire cutter. You can cut wire in here, right here, and then you just close it. It's a great wire cutter. Um, bending wire is very easily done with this. I've also been able to peel back sheets of metal um, from containers. That, that really helps. I mean, this really is like a, a hand that can do a more torturous job without sacrificing your hand. You know, this, this thing can do a few things that you wouldn't do with your hand and it it allows you to get a good purchase i mean i am not going to be um <laughs> i mean i'm not going to be trying to tighten down any major bolts with this or anything like that that's not what this is for but being able to crimp wire together or twist it together or do those mild tasks this thing does it very well and having it in such a compact package really helps and i find this to be the knife that i'm going to be carrying the most versus my handyman because this has everything i really need i mean it has the can opener which i use regularly um and then it also has the bottle opener i use these screwdriver heads all the time in the house and at work the 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 pliers i've already told you what i use that for and i use that probably two or three times a day and then it has the scissors which i probably use this more to cut my fingernails but it does a great job on um, string, does a great job on 50, uh, 550 paracord, a bunch of other things. And I mean, those are vital to have. 
Then you have your main blade, which I use the main blade primarily for food prep. And then I use the smaller blade for packages and uh, other utility purposes. So this one's going to have um, gunk on it. I'll clean it, of course, but it's not going to be as sharp as my food prep blade. So I use that one for food prep. And now I have the Phillips head driver. And I think this is going to help me a lot in the house. It's going to help me a lot at work, tightening down screws. And since we've been still hanging stuff in the house, doing a few things around the house, sometimes tightening down that screw, you, you, you're you able to get it, but man, your wrist gets real tired and you just want to just do one crank. This will do it. You know, it, it really is useful. And I've used the hook um, quite a bit. Actually, I use this to open up cans with the pulls on it. Sometimes I can't get my fat finger in those little pulls. So I just use this and, and just latch onto it and just pull the can back. Trust me, if you if you own a dog, you know, they have those, those little cans that you can just pull. So th this comes in handy and I use that daily. Um, and then of course the reamer. Um, I don't use the reamer all that much, but starting a hole, to then um, drill a, 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 a drill or a screw drill into the wall, um, not drill, yeah, yeah, a screw, not drill, to screw a, um, to drill a screw into the wall. This combo here is very, very good. So this knife here, I think for me is like a complete package. So I'd probably have to say um, in order of main carry i'm going to have the deluxe tinker huntsman no no uh handyman and then huntsman i don't carry the huntsman unless i'm you know i'm going over to a buddy's house or something like that because i may not be having a beer i might have wine or he may need something fixed you know or i might notice it needing fixed you know the little stuff so that is the new victorinox knife that i decided to buy and to be honest i haven't found too many reviews on the deluxe tinker i mean they're out there there are probably about 50 of them but i would have expected more for such a great little knife like this and i have debated on getting plus scales for it because i do find that added feature of being able to put a pen here and use this for writing that would that would complete this and probably get rid of the pen in my pocket so that might be the next step, but uh, I'll, I'll see how I like this after this month's, month is done. So um, I think I'll end it there. So till the next video, guys, I'll talk to you later. And um, I'll have some more content coming out to you very soon. Bye-bye.